Sicilian Defense, Open, Classical, Richter Rosser Variation, 6, E67.QD2 A68.000BD79.F3. Dot dot Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c-pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. d6 opens up the light squared bishop and prevents white from pushing the pawn to e5 after black eventually plays nf6. d4 offers to trade the d-pawn for the c-pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. Cx d4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. Nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. Nc6 attacks the d4 knight and supports the e5 square. Bg5 immediately attacks the knight on f6 and prepares the possibility of queenside castling. e6 defends the d5 square and allows the dark squared bishop to develop to e7. Qd2 supports the bishop on g5 and prepares to castle queenside. a6 prepares the b5 pawn push and stops the white pieces from coming to b5. 0-0-0 gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Bd7 develops the light squared bishop, defends the knight on c6 and opens up the c8 square. f3 supports the e4 pawn and prepares the g4 pawn push. It is the last book move. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening.